Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I got to start with this from Digital Assets Daily. Ripple's Bold Vision. XRP, a legal payment method worldwide. So what is holding this up? Why is it not happening quicker? Although XRP might have a head start in partnerships, could it become a legal tender? Even though not recognized as one, the foundation of XRP to be a legal tender is being laid already. If it continues to expand its partnerships while navigating the evolving regulatory landscape in an efficient manner, XRP could eventually be recognized as a form of legal tender in jurisdictions that embrace digital currencies. However, there are significant hurdles to overcome first. These include gaining regulatory approval in major economies and competing with other blockchains to become technologically ahead. The SEC lawsuit will play a significant role in determining the future of XRP. Now, we know the case is done, but we don't have any cl clear path forward for crypto here in the United States. However, what I think is going to happen is we are going to have that massive liquidity crisis, and they're going to have to have a solution. And I think XRP could be part of that solution. Same thing with XLM. Other jurisdictions outside of the United States, I definitely see XRP as being legal tender in the very near future. Crypto.com, a cryptocurrency exchange based in Singapore, has launched new global retail services in partnership with Standard Chartered Bank to offer customers United States dollar, Europe euro, and United Arab Emirates Durham options. And who is Standard Chartered partnered with? Ripple. So we know they're most likely utilizing the RippleNet technology and XRP as well. They're always opening up new rails all around the world. And you see it building out all the time. And that's going to continue to happen until every single person in the world has access to a bank account. This comes from Smoke and it puts into perspective what I've been saying all along. Assuming Russia won't use XRP because Ripple is an American company is like assuming China won't use Microsoft software because it's U.S. based. In both cases, the utility can outweigh the political differences. And you know, that clears everything up. It makes it so simple for anyone to understand. And sanctions don't matter when a country wants to use the XRP ledger and XRP. This comes from Edo Farina. Swift implementing Ripple's technology is the only logical outcome of the Ripple vs. Swift battle. At the end of the day, Ripple is not a payments company, but a provider of payment software systems. Swift's clients will request the newer, faster, cheaper technology and they will deliver it. Everything must flow through XRP. And that's what I see happening as well. You know, as the world pushes towards real-time payments, every single bank is going to want access to that, even if they're SWIFT clients. So they're going to tell SWIFT, listen, we need to keep up with these people over here that aren't using SWIFT. And, you know, they're making payments in a matter of seconds instead of a matter of days. What is your solution to that? Swift then says, okay, we're going to tie your bank in with the RippleNet software. That's why Ripple and Swift coming together makes so much sense. But us as XRP holders, we are still going to get rich off of that. D-Local and Gray form cross-border payment partnership. 
who is D Local, a Ripple partner. So they, the collaboration will enable Gray to extend its services into new markets, including Brazil, Indonesia, Mexico, the Philippines, and South Africa. The global Findex database indicates that approximately 1.7 billion adults worldwide are unbanked, particularly in developing countries. High costs and delays in cross-border payments can exacerbate financial exclusion by limiting access to former financial services. Again, banking the unbanked. And DLocal uses RippleNet technology and XRP. Rail after rail. Yet people don't see this massive network forming all around the world. If it's not through Ripple directly, it's always through partners of Ripple. Ripple burns all RLUSD stablecoins ahead of 2024 launch. No tokens are in circulation. I keep seeing people say that you can access RLUSD early. There's no tokens in circulation. Those are scams. We will all know when the launch happens. The largest shareholder in BlackRock is the Vanguard Group, which owns 8.9% of the company's stock. Vanguard loves Ripple and XRP. You see it right here. And you know, I keep seeing people talking about BlackRock like they're the messiah for Bitcoin. Honestly, I don't see those ETFs bringing any real value to Bitcoin. In fact, I think it's pushing a lot of the OGs away from Bitcoin. But I'll talk more about that in another video. But you see why Vanguard never pushed towards ETFs. They already see the future. They realize RippleNet and XRP is the future of finance. Yesterday, I told you Vitalik Buterin said Ripple is the internet of value. And people said I have no proof of that. Well, the proof is right here. Take a listen to Vitalik tell you for himself. That's really what Ethereum is. You know, people talk people talk a lot about things, uh, talk about cryptocurrency 2.0 being like the internet of value. We're, no, we're not the internet of value. Ripple is the internet of value. We're our- so there you have it. And he also said that XRP is better than Bitcoin because they know. You know, people that are living in denial and following Michael Saylor are going to end up going broke following these people. The hype around Bitcoin right now, it's way too hyped up. And every time they hype something up way too much, something big is coming. And I don't think it's going to be good. I think it's going to start with the fall of Tether. Banks know, follow the money. XRP, price forecast, JP Morgan, cross-border payments, could drive XRP to $1,000. Now, I've seen a lot of people talking about this recently, especially with what's going on with Neom. And I would guess that Neom is connecting RippleNet and XRP to JP Morgan's banks, their payment system. That's what I think is really happening there. But, you know, if this was to happen, I could see XRP definitely reaching a thousand dollars per xrp and if you all want an xrp liquidity cheat sheet here it is right here coming from mason versus lewis and everybody always argues that xrp can never reach these price points because of market cap and previous cycles market cap does not matter in crypto this is not the stock market this is crypto and wait until utility starts driving the price of some of these cryptocurrencies. It's going to be a very exciting time. This comes from Crypto Eddie. At least three of these payment companies are in or close to the $1 billion club in revenue and Ripple partners. So think about it like this. If Ripple is making their partners billionaires, what do you think is going to happen to XRP holders? We're definitely be going to become millionaires. Some of us 
will most likely become billionaires if we hold XRP long enough. But this is how Ripple's technologies, it changes these companies. It gives them the upper hand on the competition. It's going to do the same thing for the banks. All of a sudden, certain banks are really going to push ahead because they're using that RippleNet technology and XRP. This comes from Stuart Alderati. Fun fact, in 1976, the SEC ruled that art galleries, even when promoting and selling to buyers that had investment motives, didn't need to register with the SEC. This could play a very big factor in that open seas case where they just received a Wells notice claiming that NFTs on the platform are securities. I think NFTs are art. I don't see them being any different than any other art form. And I like the fact that content creators can get their content out there through NFTs as well. I think once again, this is major overreach coming from Gary Gensler. And I honestly cannot wait until Gary is done at the SEC. That is going to be the biggest green day we have ever seen in crypto. Donald Trump promises to make U.S. the crypto capital of the planet. Now, right away, people will say, well, Donald Trump, he's pro-Bitcoin. Honestly, I don't think Donald Trump gives a shit about Bitcoin. I think Donald Trump cares about the U.S. dollar, though. And look at the path that we were on with Trump as president back in 2017, 2018, before the SEC case. He was already meeting with people from Ripple. He knows what XRP is. You know, XRP strengthens the U.S. dollar. It can transport the U.S. dollar around the world in a matter of seconds. It can fix the current financial system. That's the power of XRP. When Donald Trump talks about the U.S. being a crypto capital, I think he means as far as utility and use case. I'm sure Bitcoin will also do very good with Donald Trump as president. But Trump knows the path we're on. We have to push into the digital age or we are going to be left behind. We have countries coming for the U.S. dollar. We have countries planning to back their digital currency with gold. The U.S. has to get back on track with crypto and innovation. Right now, we are off the rails. I think maybe the Dems have some sort of big plan right before the election. I don't know. But that would make sense that they come out with some huge announcement making them look very crypto right before people head out to vote. What happens after the election? Nobody really knows yet. And I think it's going to be... I think crypto is going to push ahead either way because the world is going digital with or without the United States, honestly. So I think utility will start to drive the price of a lot of these cryptocurrencies. And you definitely want to be here when that happens. That's why I'm always telling you, until it does happen, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.